Hello, my name is Antonio and I am here to present the testing part of lecture 9. So let's get started. The testing part of this week is written in the file unit testing of the folder test of week 09. It contains the main function that has all the test cases that we wrote. But I am only concentrating in the last two test cases, that is test end-to-end -end and liquidation cases. So let's see what's inside the test end-to-end -end function. This function contains all the steps that we need to mint, burn, and liquidate the stablecoin. I'm going to split this function in two parts, the oracle part and the stablecoin part. This implementation of stablecoin uses ADA as collateral. It means that we lock ADA to mint stablecoin and we burn stablecoin to unlock the ADA. To operate the oracle, we use two functions. The first one is deploy oracle that set the initial value of the oracle and then we use update the oracle to change the value of the oracle. So let's see what's inside the deploy oracle function. The deploy oracle function first of all means an NFT that we are going to use in the oracle. After that we create a new UTXO in the oracle script. We can see that in this function. We spend the NFT and then we pay the NFT to the script and then we set the value as inline datum in the script. The update oracle function spends the UTXO that is already in the script and then creates a new UTXO with a new value. We can see it in this function that I'll first of all spends the script and then creates a new UTXO with the new value of the oracle. We also send the same NFT to the script. Now we are going to see how we mint, burn a liquidate stablecoin. To mint a stablecoin, we first need the collateral. And in this case, we are going to set three ADA as collateral. We also need the reference of the Oracle Validator. This is where we are going to get the price of ADA. We need a user that is going to mint uh, the, the stablecoin. We also need the minting value that we are going to mint. Of course, we get this in this line. We say that uh, we are going to mint with this currency symbol and then uh, this token name and this amount. In this case, we are going to mint two stable coins. And then we also need uh, the datum that we are constructing here with this function. And finally, we need the Oracle parameters. Now let's see what's inside the minting stablecoin function. Okay, in this function we first specify that the user one is going to spend uh, the collateral. In this case, we say that we are going to set as collateral three ADA. Then we also need the stablecoin script and we construct this with this function and we that's why we need the oracle validator hash that we construct here and the collateral validator hash that we also construct here with this function validator hash prime and uh, we construct the transaction with this function mint stable, stable coin and this is here first of all we say that we want to mint something uh, what's that we are going to mint? The value that we already said. This is the redeemer. The redeemer is mint. Uh, we also pay to key. We are going to pay to user. We are going to pay the value that we already minted. Now, the script also requires uh, to set the reference script of the oracle. This is what we do in this line. Um, and then we say that we want to lock some of collateral in the script. Well, that's what we do in these two lines. 
Now we are going to see uh, how we burn the stable coin. First of all, we need the UTXO in which we already mm, locked the collateral. We can find this with this function, find collateral for user one. Uh, and then we need the stable coin minting parameters. Uh, actually, this is the stable coin script. Uh, we already we need also the datum that we already sent to the script. We need the user that is going to burn the stable coin, and then we need the value that we are going to burn. Now let's see how we do that. Uh, first of all, we say that we want to spend. In this case, we are going to spend two stable coins. Then we have to construct the transaction. Uh, this is here. Uh, in this uh, transaction, we spend from the script. We are going to spend the three ADA locked, and we are going to pay those three ADA locked to the user. And then we want to burn but we are going to use this mint value function but we are going to negate the minting value in this case we it will be born value and then we are going to spend the two stable coin of the user now that we know how mint, burn and liquidate stablecoin. Let's see this function that is liquidation cases. Uh, in this uh, function we are going to show why and how uh, we are not able to liquidate position when the price of ADA is not uh, changed. Mm, first of all uh, we mint three times. Uh, in this case uh, we have three users. Uh, user one is going to mint two stable coin. User two is going to mint four stable coin, and user three is going to mint four stable coin. But in this case, user one uh, is going to lock six ADA. User two is going to lock six ADA two, uh, but user three is going to lock eight ADA. And in this case, we are going to try to liquidate uh, user 1 and user 2. <clears throat> For that, we updated the oracle. Uh, in this case, the oracle mm, was deployed with the value of 100. It was $1. And then the, we updated the oracle uh, to 50 cents and we are looking for collateral of uh, user 1 and collateral of user 2 in this line user 3 tries to liquidate position of user 1 but it fails why is this? Uh, well uh, user 1 doesn't have enough collateral to don't be liquidated but in this other line, user 3 tries to liquidate position of user 2 and it succeeds. Why is this? Well, uh, user 2 doesn't have enough collateral to don't be liquidated.